And what do we know here? Well, what we know is that Futu and Tiger Brokers uh, are being basically forced to remove their apps from, from the stores. So existing clients can still trade. That's been the case uh, and that continues to be the case. But this is really about new clients. So new clients not being able to come on board and, and uh, use the app and the facilities that come with that. So, of course, the timing of this is, is not coincidental, Heidi. We've seen this kind of gradual push to, to rein in um, some of these outflows of, of capital that China is looking like they're increasingly worried about. And of course, we've seen kind of demonstrable evidence of that capital outflow problem kind of increasingly getting to be a problem for authorities there. So it shows that there's clearly um, a lot of concern around that. And I think that's one, one key factor to, to kind of uh, to, to, to hone in on. But also, um, you remember, just from an investment point of view, if you're an owner of these stocks, they did sell off hard on the news. They did recoup a lot of that um, during the session. And I think that kind of shows you that this wasn't really a huge surprise. A lot of the investors who are already in this space understand that, um, you know, that framework that China has now for, for trying to wanting to restrict some activity in this area. So in the, at the end of the day, not a huge surprise. So we did see a little bit of a rally in some of those stocks uh, from the lows. Um, but clearly it's an issue that, that authorities are taking very, very seriously. Is this out of a, a reflection of some of the more I guess volatility that we might come to expect from regulatory changes, right? There's been a lot of sort of pressure on, uh, you know, the ability of, of foreign investors, for example, to yeah. even access data or due diligence. It has, yeah. And all, all the news in the last couple of weeks around the expert, expert networks that we've seen, you know, Cap Vision obviously being in the mm. focus there. But it, it's, it's a bigger story, isn't it? It's mm. about how regulators there and authorities um, are trying to kind of, um, you know, just put a few holes in the net there. They're trying to just rein in some of this activity. Um, and they're being very specific about targeting specific areas. So it's all part of that bigger picture. Uh, and, uh, and of course, um, if you're an existing um, user, you know, in this case, you're still able to pretty much go about your, your, your business as usual. Trading is fine. It's about not bringing on new customers mm -hmm. and not opening new avenues of revenue. So that's what we're seeing in this case with Futu and Tiger Brokers. They're looking outside of the domestic market more. You know, they're looking to um, other areas outside of China uh, where they can see some growth. And of course, that's a prudent thing to be doing given the crackdown at home.